Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Women's Challenge Cup here on this beautiful and windy Wednesday night here at Larrakia Park, Darwin Football Stadium. It's round five of the competition, or for all those of you savvy supporters, it's the quarterfinals, and it is between Mindalasis and Hellenic Athletic Club. My name is George Skufezis, joined in commentary by Anna Day. Anna, I'll throw over to you and get your quick thoughts on this game and what you think we're about to witness. Um, I think it's going to be a fantastic um, game um, between the, the two four front runners of the uh, Women's Premier League. It'll be a, a, a great match to, um, we're going to see tonight. Yep. Um, and um, it'll be a very close match. Mm. Certainly the uh, recent history dictates that. The th two of the three Women's Challenge Cup finals have been between Hellenic and Mindo, of course, in the first year of the competition, the defunct NT Yappers were up against Hellenic, and of course, Hellenic have won this competition three years on the trot, looking to make it four in a row, and to do so, I think Mindel are going to have to be at their very best, but only two weeks ago, Anna, we did see Hellenic uh, victorious against Mindel, a long shot from Beck Tom, enough to get it done there, so it should, as you said, be a close game. I, I believe so. I mean, Mindel have got some great players, um, like Cassie Williams. That's a te that's a player to watch out for. Mm -hmm. um, just can't let her shoot out uh, long when mm -hmm. um, those balls all go in the back of the net. So the girls got had to be on their toes. Absolutely. But you, you said it, Cassie McWilliams, a great player from distance, but equally so you could say the goalkeeper of the tournament or the competition, you could say Taya Hartog. She has been on form so far this season. She's kept two clean sheets from two and she'll be in ripping form and also saving a penalty from yep. our um, Cassie Williams <laughs> that's exactly right what a prelude to that of course last night we had a phenomenal night of football Casuarina the Rowdies were successful in defeating the Mindalasis 1-1 after extra time and they went through on penalties if required of course tonight that game this game will follow the same we hope it's entertaining Hellenic will kick us off right to left and Jemima Millicardin there ready to get us off underway Eric in the center ready to blow us away quarter past seven local time watches in check and referee blows us underway Hellenic immediately looking to get forward Beck Tom trying to play it through Mindel need to get things clear Papadakis Carton there back forward to Mosca Papadakis Back into the starting 11, trying to tussle with Abby Grieg, but it comes away now. Mindel to that aforementioned Cassie McWilliam, looking forward. Looking for her teammate there, Kukovic and Coombe there in space. And if in doubt, get it out, but it does go out of play. Throw in to Mindel, looking for Tegan McWilliam. Be a good battle with Kukovic. She... Perhaps isn't the most conventional footballer, Anastasia Kukovic, but she gets the job done, doesn't she? Yes, yeah, she does. She's a, um, one of our juniors that comes through, and she's um, done well to um, being the starting 11 for the uh, Women's Premier League. Mm. Certainly earned her stripes, built her way up. Hard to crack that Blues defence, but she's certainly found her home there. And another returning Blue there, Maria Bilius, a staple of this side. Out to Tegan McWilliam. Kukovic there for company. She gets the... Right side of Kukovic, but unfortunately ran out of real estate and goes out of play for a throw. There'll be a lot of key one-on-one -on -one battles tonight. And certainly I think the matchup between Lisa McCrillos and Jariah Kirby is going to be a key one as well. It's going forward now, Hellenic trying to breach the halfway mark. Papadakis, Sophia McCrillos, good first touch by the forward. And she'll be... Pestering that Mindel defence all night. Space being created. Still McCrillos, but that's a tough win there. And the Aces look to come out of halfway. Tegan McWilliam looking for Greta Wood there forward. That's good contest there. Annie War on the ball. Slip kind of lets her down. Oh, and eventually Coombe out of play. There's a lot of new faces as well for the Aces. Of course... No Lauren Riley, who was one of the better players of the competition last year. But it seems like when you get rid of one, two more take their place. Mindel have certainly been one of those women's Premier League clubs that started off 
you could say, at the bottom, and they've just worked their way up, and now they're deservingly competing with Hellenic year on year. Yes, they are. So throw in to Mindel, and their captain will try and put them in the box. Abby Grieg throws it inside. Tegan McWilliam, I think it came off her. It did. The Blues throw. So also what seems like to be a fairly new look defence as well. Zoe Smith accompanying Rhea Gray. As Hellenic will continue to advance forward. And... I guess you would have a lot of experience with coaching dynamics. Of course, long-term coach and former club president David McWilliam taking the back seat this year and coming forward is Jason Lee. Very much, you could say, a lot of core players remain the same for Mindel, but yes, with sir. some new faces and a new coach, how, how does that uh, affect a side with a new coach? Um, it, uh, it depends. Um, I mean, Dave um, has set a great foundation with these um, girls and... Um and so it's about um, continuing uh, what he's built. Dan, I think uh, Mindel has um, embraced that. Dan, even with a new coach, they, they um, continue that, um, mm -hmm. that forum moving forward. Absolutely. Certainly no stranger to coaching is Jason Lee as well. Long-term coaching the junior setup at the Aces as play gets back underway. Billius looking to try and find Lisa McCrillos. Bit of confusion there, but... Hellenic can thankfully readjust and now Evie Paneris who came off or came on rather as a substitute on the weekend back into the starting 11. Now driving forward here Lisa McCrillos certainly my player of the season in the Women's Premier League last year tries to get forward to the teammate there. But now the Aces will Try and fashion a chance of their own. And Bilius running back towards goal. A lot of time. Taya Hartog calling for that one. Able to put it up into the night sky. Kukovis will track it. Tegan McWilliam will keep her under pressure. Bilius. Looking for a ball down the line and just out of play. Mindle throw. Both coaches certainly up off their feet. Very vocal as you need to be in the women's game. Jason Lee and Matt Hadjik for Hellenic. Papadakis trying to get a touch forward. Sophia McCrillos a little too central for that one. Now comes wide. Back into the centre there. Rhea Gray to Zoe Smith. All the way through to Tegan McWilliam. War's calling for it. And Annie War will try and get onto the end of it. Beck Tom's tracked her and puts it out into touch. So just like that, five and a half minutes already played and as you said in the pre-game, not an inch given so far. Both teams will absolutely contest for the ball in the centre of the park and their chances need to be taken when they when they come. Out of play once again. Abby Grieg with the throw for the second time. Tegan McWilliam. Some strapping on her right quad there. It'll be interesting to see how she carries out the game to her sister there, Cassie. McWilliam, Jariah Kirby looking for a threaded ball and off. Well picked up there by the assistant referee. And so I made note of it pre-game as well that in each of the Challenge Cup finals and even in the grand finals, Sophia McCrillos has always seemed to find herself on the score sheet. Do you think she'll be pivotal tonight for Hellenic? I believe so. Um um, she's just, just one of those players that would love to finish in front of goals. Um, um, and I, I think she's hit, hit her straps tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cassie McWilliam looking forward. Greta Woods in space and she's onside. Playing it through for Annie War and oh, the offside flag rises. Perhaps her teammate there, Annie War, called for it. But I thought Greta Wood was certainly in space to go, go for it for herself. Yeah, she didn't take an opportunity. I think it comes to inexperience. She's quite a young player. Mm. Um, but um, the girl should have give, given her more direction. Absolutely. One of those multi-talented players. Of course, she applies her trade with the NTFL, and the, as do many of the players in the Premier League, as well as, I think, Mary Coombe and Sophia McCrillos with the Nycliffe Tigers winning a premiership most recently. So talented athletes out on the pitch tonight, and tonight they do battle to progress 
in the next round of the Challenge Cup. So Kukovic with possession. She comes forward to Oscar Papadakis and an errant touch there. You'll see it go out of play for a Mindel throw this time. Abby Grieg inside, but she throws it straight to Beck Tom and she can burst away now. Good bit of pace. Spots Sophia McCrillos who assesses her footing and looks to take on her defender. Still McCrillos opening up the body. Oh, and the shot there was blocked by Rhea Gray. Almost an uh, opportunity for Jemima miller -Karten. And Now Mindel emerge out of defence. Cassie McWilliam as a Block off there, so Mindel will retain the ball and Cassie McWilliam goes with an early throw, forces Maria Bilius out of position and now Annie War tried to play it immediately off the boot but fortunately for her it will go out of play for a Hellenic throw. You said that Sophia McCrillis will be pivotal for Hellenic tonight. At the weekend she did squander a couple of chances, yeah. thankfully her side did get the win in the end but she only to be ready from the get-go tonight. Yeah, she sure does. Um, um, she's got to take her opportunities where it, it, it comes, um, but they'll come in time. Mm -hmm. She's got to just, um, just, just bite her time and it'll get there. Absolutely. And now Papadakis, could this be a moment her ball comes in and aces, centre-halves need to be vocal tonight, as is the goalkeeper. Danielle Bennett sends it forward. Lisa McCrillos and Cousin in there, Ellie McCrillos and the skipper for the side. Work it out, but now Cassie McWilliam looks forward. It's a good ball. Tegan McWilliam needs to run hard. Kukovic keeps up with her. And as I said, it's going to be one of those matchups tonight that's going to be good to watch. Quick throw in for the teammate there. Zoe Courtney goes for a speculative shot, but I'd say a hard tog will track those all night long. And she may not be, you could say, the tallest goalkeeper we've ever seen in the league, but she judges shots so well. I recall on the weekend there was a, a floating shot that was destined maybe for to go over her, but she, she jumps at the right time and gets those fingertips yeah, over the Yeah, she sure does, yeah. I don't know how she does it, but <laughs> yeah, she gets there. And you get the tallest players and the ball still goes over the head. <laughs> yeah. Talented goalkeeper. Looks to leave the goal kick for Maria Bilius. She... Unless it's a short one, eh? it will be taken by Maria Bilius, perhaps looking for a, a longer delivery, favouring the right-hand side, and that wind that has been relenting so far continues. It takes it out of play. So 10 minutes already played in this Challenge Cup match, and a lot of it has been in Hellenic's defensive half. But having said that, Hellenic are defending very tightly, not allowing Mindel much if anything at all. And the throw into the aces as they try and fashion something, turn a, a throw into a chance and perhaps an opportunity at goal. Abby Griggs thought about passing off to War. She goes to Tegan McWilliam. Cassie McWilliam calling. Gets the touch there initially, a blocked shot. Now a chance here for Jariah Kirby. Comes out to Tegan McWilliam. Low driven, but Hartog can see that from a mile away and she gathers it comfortably. Takes her time and allows her ladies to move out into position. She elects to go out wide. Jemima Miller-Carden backwards to Evie Paneris who completes that back four perfectly. One of the better right backs in the league, Evie Paneris now Lisa McCrillis gives possession away and now Cassie McWilliam barreling through on goal. She's got strength, turns on her left and has a shot and that's a, a great save there by call Hartog. about it moments ago and Taya Hartog rising there but doesn't that just show that danger that Cassie McWilliam possesses? She has a lethal left foot, Cassie. They have to watch her very carefully. It's a tight angle but she still managed to get a shot away that concerned Hartog, hence the need to make the save. And so a corner kick opted to not take it, Cassie McWilliams. She's in the box, of course. She's a very tall figure, marked tightly there by Mary Coombe. 
Greta Wood as well a target. The ball comes inside. Good weight on it, but Paneris is there at the front post. Emerging now, Joanna miller Carden. But McCrillos is in space. She plays it forward for her striker. Tracked well by Rhea Gray. Turning on the inside. She's got pace to burst away. Sophia McCrillos now. Papadakis hard running on the outside. Sophia McCrillos still coming up against Knight here. And the defender wins out that time. Zoe Smith does well. Now Tegan McWilliam. Annie War nicely tracked by Kukovis, but she has her possession picked off of her. Annie War, good sliding challenge, just gets enough onto it to put off the trajectory of the pass. And now Greta Wood, some hard running to dispossess Coombe. Annie War goes for a ball into the box, but no teammate there to effectively lend a hand, and it goes out for a goal kick. So far, it seems, Anna, that Hellenic are very much absorbing a lot of pressure and playing on the counter as as things stand. Yeah, they do. Um, and, um, and this is where it might be Mindel's undoing if they're not uh, switched on, especially when on the counter-attack. Mm -hmm. But um, we do, um, Hellenic does seem to squander a couple of their shots um, on the counter. They should be also supporting Sophia if they want to get those goals in. Absolutely. A bit of a shove in there early by Beck Tom, just asserting her physicality on this game, one of the elite athletes in the division. And now a set piece opportunity for Mindel and Zoe Courtney. Look to drive this one inside. Looking to get through to Wood, cut off at the front by Lisa McCrillos. Joanna Miller and trying to get it forward, but Jess Brocci's there. Uh, woman of the match performance on the weekend and, and comes to Greta Wood and he wore good touch but her pass gives it away oh through here this is a good run McCrillos is in space so is Papadakis options for Ellie McCrillos but her pass just slightly in favour of the centre half for Mindel as Cassie McWilliam looking forward she sends it long but Evie Paneris in pole position to mop this one up. Annie War steals her for possession though. Cuts inside straight away immediately. She looks inside for Tegan McWilliam and judging it well was Anastasia Kukovis. It comes out now to Cassie McWilliam who turns or looks to turn away from Ellie McCrillos. Referee says play on and that's a cynical foul. She got stripped of possession there Cassie McWilliam and just bringing down Joanne Miller-Carton. I know it's early but Lucky to get away with that one. Sure was. Um, I mean, if I was in her position, I probably would have done the same thing too. So. <laughs> it's a, not quite a final, but it has that feel about it. These teams have, as I said, in the last two years have met in this competition's final. So they'll certainly treat it as their last dance. It has that repercussion. You lose and you go home and you win. And the winner of... This contest will go straight to the final as well. So, ball comes inside. Kirby gets the header backwards. It comes out to Sophia McCrillos. A chance for the spearhead. Just trying to get through too many aces there. Not a bad idea as Lisa McCrillos has a shot from distance and caught straight into the hands there of Danielle Bennett. First year in goals for Mindel. First year in the Women's Premier League. As she... Hoofs this forward, straight to Beck Tom, and she'll send it back the same way. Ellie McCrillos, nice ball through for Sophia, but just slightly too much on the pass there. And Zoe Smith can judge that one well. Certainly has that finals feel about it, even though it's just a quarterfinal, doesn't it? Yeah, it, it does. Um, I, think, I think both teams are going, um, giving it all, their all, because they know what's at stake for this, so... Absolutely, as Papadakis sends a teasing ball into the box. Brocci gets it away. Lisa McCrillos tries to get it back inside, but very defended well by Rhea Gray. Annie wore the forward there, dropping back to receive, and now Greta Wood should compete with Mary Coombe. And Mary Coombe gets a good touch there, and she'll just let it go out of play. Certainly for what she doesn't have in, in size, she has an experience. She's still very young, but 
I've got to say, Mary Coombe just reads this game so well. Oh, she does, for, especially for her, um, for a young age. Um, she's actually grasped that um, sweeper role. Mm -hmm. oh, that's a handball, as Mendel can see that. Yeah, as you were saying. Um, a bit... mm. I'd say Mary be one of the players to yeah. watch out for in the Women's Premier League. I mean, she, she's shown um, year after year um, and she's owning that position and she's hard to beat. Mm, certainly is keeping perhaps some players out of the side as looking to trap this one down. Zoe Courtney now, Tegan McWilliam looking back inside. Jariah Kirby, her pass is poor, goes straight to Beck Tom. She just hoofs it up into the air. It's taken down immediately by Zoe Smith and now Kirby on the second ball. Brocci looking for Tegan McWilliam, but... Bit of pinball in the centre of the half as now Cassie McWilliam a chance to stride out here. She's got space in front of her. Ball comes driven down low. Still into a dangerous area. Out to open space with Brocci and her shot goes over the bar and out of play. Certainly a position that invited the shot. You don't mind that sometimes as a coach. If the opportunity is on, you take it. Oh yeah, you, you have to. You got, got to take every opportunity there is it, um, that's being given to you. So you never know; it could go in the back of the nets. Mm. But um, you don't. Women's Premier League certainly is known for its long shots. You've got a lot of those players that are capable of them on both sides of the field here. Some long-range goals have been scored from both Hellenic and Mindu in recent seasons. Some crackers, especially in the Women's Challenge Cup, has. Ball sent forward by Coombe, looking for Papadakis, who will take this down. Pressure by Abby Grieg, but she gets her pass back to Kukovic, but puts her immediately under pressure, and she senses that danger, puts it out of play for a throw. So, ball comes back inside by Tegan McWilliam. There's Marie Bilius. Goes backwards, bit of miscommunication as Beck Tom just puts it out into touch. Throwing once again to Mindel. Inside by Abby Grieg, Jariah Kirby, and well, got to be aware there that of course you can't be offside from a throw, but the player receiving the ball back from the throw can be. So, yeah. Abby Grieg just not getting onside, but tracking straight away back the captain. And so, ball to be played out of defence by Mary Coombe. Goes forward looking for Lisa McCrillos. And Faree says play on. Kukovis back to Lisa McCrillos. Kukovis to Beck Tom, blocked there. And Bilius gets there first and she'll put it out of play for a throw so if we're following a trend certainly 24 hours ago the Mindalasis men's side were fairly dominant in terms of field position against Kazarina and we know how that game ended so as you said before Anna it's one of those games as just quickly see this attack for Mindo as Greta Wood turns Looks back inside, gives it straight to Ellie McCrillos and Bocci gets back there. Jariah Kirby back to her teammate, Jess Brocci, but comes out to Jemima Miller-Cart and a ball over the top could be dangerous here. It'll fall down to Sophia McCrillos and good run there from Jemima Miller-Cart and continuing things. She's kept with hot contest with Jess Brocci and it goes out. So, like I said, last night it was a game that Mindel heavily dominated and in the end, they rude their chances or certainly not taking them. While there haven't been any clear-cut chances so far for either side, do you think it's one of those that Mindel kind of need to make them if they have so much possession? Oh, they have to. Um, you can't um, not take those opportunities. What is being given, um, handed to you? Um, if you, you squander those opportunities, it's going to come and bite you. Then um, Helena could be one of those clubs that um, will Can punish you. Can certainly do that, and of course. As the ball comes out to Ian McWilliam. Turning and holding Beck Tom, but Beck Tom wins in the end. Time certainly there. Just perhaps misjudge the speed of the ball. Paneris as it goes out of play, and Minda will have a throw. Certainly did think this would be a tight contest, and it's proving its worth so far as Minda will come out of defence here. 
Cassie McWilliams sends the ball down long. A deflection there and spills out, but again, Mary Coombe playing that sweeper role, covering it so well. Taya Hartog to Bilius, and then on fourth for Heavy Paneris down the line for Jemima Millikan, but her pass is given away to Jess Brocci. Runners in the middle, one of them's Tegan McWilliam. Oh, Kukovis brilliantly done there. And now Dryer Kirby fancies one from distance, but plenty of time and positioning there from Taya Hartog gets things in her clutches and plays it forward, but heavy touch off Tegan McWilliam fortuitous there. And so Hellenic will have a chance to come out of defense. And certainly making himself vocal, Jason Lee, the Mendelaise's coach, trying to assert his authority. I do like the, the dynamic coaching style of Matt Hadjik and Nick Conzio, uh, Zach Conzionis. They, they do a great job as it's a free kick to Hellenic. Although Matt Hadjik is, you know, the role of coach, it's... I've even spoken to some of the women's players and they do respect both Zach and Matt. And it's great to have two coaches that the players can turn to when times get tough. Oh, yeah, they do. I mean, Max, um, Matt has a, um, the calming, he's a more of a calming effect, uh, whereas there are different coaching uh, methods to other coaches that um, we have currently. Mm -hmm. And the girls respect it and they carry on their instructions by moving on with that. So, mm -hmm. so free kick to Mindel. Coach just telling Tegan McWilliam to let that go. He knows that Zoe Smith can put a ball forward. And so now, Zoe Smith, she does hoof this forward. Oh, gets through Coombe there. And he wore a chance, but Billius keeps her company. And the referee was always just going to follow that through for a, a goal kick. Almost getting there first, and we already know that if you get first to the ball and get some contact in the box, you're certainly running a tight rope there. And we saw it last night with Kajarina, and almost there if Annie War had gotten to it a second earlier. So Paneris now comes forward but gives possession away to Cassie McWilliam and a chance. Sizing up her distance, but that one unfortunately was just off guard and off offline. Lisa McCrillos forward. Aimless ball again, just gives possession to Mindel. Jess Brocci plays it centrally for Zoe Courtney and now back out to Brocci. Cassie McWilliam. Looking perhaps for a left footer delivery. Billius picks it off before it became a danger. First time ball, Jemima Millicarden. And now Ellie McCrillos, she's in a pocket of space, can turn up and have some time. Oh, her pass is poor though. Comes away and now Mindel just do the same. Return it back to Hellenic as Kukovis is dispossessed. And a bit of a hold onto the jersey. And referee in the centre there agrees. And... I wouldn't put it past a direct shot at goal. It is some way out, Anna, but as you said, oh. she can certainly strike him. She, she, she can. Um. Just one in the wall, it seems. A lot of Hellenic defenders behind the ball as well. Perhaps Cassie acknowledges that and is just going to go for goal. And Taya Hartog, perhaps the less woman in the wall, she can see it better as... McWilliam comes in with a strike. It's slowly driven. It gets a deflection and mm. dangerous that. Any quicker by McWilliam and that touch off Coombe could have sent it yes. in the back of the net. Thankfully for Taya Hartog, she wasn't too committed to one side. She was able to get across and quell that with ease as Kirby sends it forward. Greta Wood, nice turn. Two blues with her and they eventually win it off of Greta Wood. So it will be a Hellenic throw. More than halfway through this first half and cagey so far for all their attacking Mindel. Hellenic have equally stood tall in defence and frustrating the aces it seems as...
Kukovis with this throw. Gives it away to Tegan McWilliam. Sophia McCullos has dropped to defenders. Abby Grieg back to Courtney. Her ball forward, looking, searching for any war, but the Blues combine to get it out. It's a good header forward there. And a long range attempt. Calling for the deflection, says Cassie McWilliam, and referee agrees. So, corner kick coming up. And looks like Try Kirby will come across to take that one. A lot of organisation now from the Hellenic technical area, just ensuring that their ladies certainly position up. Each find a woman to, to mark and sure no, nothing cheap is given away as the ball comes in here. Front post delivery coming through to Brocci and cleared away by Beck Tom. Now Sophia McCrillo, she'll take this down, compete with Abby Grieg and the captain does well. The forward comes away. He is the Blues captain, Ellie McCrillos. Oh, passes just not on there. Perhaps wrong footed as it now comes out to Tegan McWilliam. Tackle there by Beck Tom. Referee thought about it, but says play on as Greta Wood away from Coombe. Courtney coming through and having a shot. And perhaps a metre or two close. It might have proven a little bit more difficult for Taya Hartog, but way too far out to trouble a goalkeeper of this ability as Paneris outmuscled by a couple of Mindel players, but she tirelessly tries to win possession back. Eventually it comes out to Brocci. She looks to come back to Cassie McWilliam. Pressure there by Babadakis, who puts her to ground. And the flag does go up, but the referee says play on as Mindel have the advantage. Brocci back out to Cassie McWilliam. Ball forward looking for Greta Wood over the head. But Tegan McWilliam a chance. Oh, and she falls to ground at the vital moment. Kukovis clears. Comes back now for Zoe Smith. Centre half going on an attacking run. Greta Wood... Comes back to receive, back out to Smith. McWilliam says, I'll leave it. Ball in by Smith, looking for any war. It's still war, second chance and a shot is blocked. Cassie McWilliam on the right. Oh, and it goes in! Mindel have opened the scoring. And as we approach the 30th minute, they make one of those chances pay off. And who else, Anna, but Cassie McWilliam? Yes. It was a defence that didn't clear that from the back line, so that, and that should have been cleared, uh, not, not giving Cassie the opportunity to have a shot. So it should have done better, you suggest, from the Blues' defence? Yes. And unfortunately, they couldn't do so, and Cassie McWilliam makes them pay. Scores the opener of this game. And Lennox really now have to... Dig deep, less than 15 minutes of regulation time in this first half, and the Aces have the lead in this round five knockout match. Blues certainly far from out of this, and plenty of time to turn it around. But it's Mindel who draw first blood, and it's with the goal scorer. Nice footwork by Cassie McWilliam. Is she now turning the heat up? Ball comes forward. Block off Annie Wall there. Looked like Greta Wood was offside, but it didn't reach her. Brocci. Back out to Cassie McWilliam, straight away closed down by Evie Paneris. But McWilliam finds space and she finds a good ball. Drifting in a good position. Plenty of Mindel players. And I believe that got a, sa a save, it did. Almost in one of those situations. Anna, there was too many at the buffet for that. They should have just uh, placed it in the back of the nets. Annie War, Tegan McWilliam and Greta Wood. It was almost like they were spoilt for choice there. All forwards seemed onside. All that required was one of them to just make command of that. Yell it, oh, it's mine and take the shot. But they all seemed to get in each other's way. So another let off for Hellenic. It would have been a second goal in as many minutes. But a corner, it could still come. Ball comes in, headed at the front post well. By Kukovic, but it's going to come straight back. Kirby, nice height on it. Header is in. Oh, and it's deflected into the back of the net. <laughs> Unfortunate there for Hellenic. I don't know if it was Mary Coombe or Evie Paneris. I think the referee is going to look. I think it is Coombe. 
And what did you see there, Anna? Um, no, I think that from the header, um, she tried to clear it. It just, just came off her. It was an unfortunate um, own goal. Unfortunate, to say the least, as well. So two goals in as many minutes. And Mindel have opened up. A bit of an advantage now in this Challenge Cup knockout game. Certainly something needs to give for the Blues before the half. They need to get back into this game. And Ellie McCrillos back to Kukovas. Ball back inside, Lisa McCrillos. Pressure there is Cassie McWilliam. Ellie McCrillos back to Kukovas. Closed down by Tegan McWilliam. The winger does well, but her pass not quite up to her effort. Goes out of play. And so Bilius down the line. Through to Courtney, but now Ku Papadakis. She was held there by Abby Gree, the captain holding her down. Referee does say free kick to Hellenic. So at this present moment, it will be Mindel who will advance to the final of the Challenge Cup. Goal was by Cassie McWilliam and an own goal by Mary Coombe at the moment. The difference is Maria Bilius looks to go forward here. It's a good ball. Finds Evie Paneris in space. Closed down by Jariah Kirby. And the ball goes away into open acres. Nice sliding challenge by McWilliam, but Lisa McCrillos plays it. And Jemima Miller-Carton a chance, but spacing a rate of that is Rhea Gray. Sends it wide to Jess Brocci. Paneris in the way, but Jariah Kirby sends it back out forward. Asking a lot here of her forward, Annie War, and Coombs done well, skillfully keeps it alive off the Mindel forward, and she goes down the line, but her pass just fails her slightly out of play for a throw. That does come back in immediately. Mindel sensing the urgency. They want to capitalize on these chances, and a ball comes in the box, and it's cleared away. Brocci, good touch, but it's heavy. Beck Tom. Cassie McWilliams dispossessed, but plenty of time to recompose herself. Brocci trying to get to that ball. She does get a touch on for Tegan McWilliam. And now Cassie McWilliam aiming forward. Good challenge by Jemima Miller-Carden, but Mendel still with the ball. Given away on their own accord. Ellie McCrillos, Sophia McCrillos now. The forward trying to get past Rhea Gray. She does this time. Opening up space, but no players forward of her. Except for Papadakis, who's well forward. And now Lisa McCrillos goes backwards to go forward. Kukovas immediately down for Papadakis. Nice turn and touch away from Grieg, but the captain's strong. And she holds on to possession well. Abby Grieg stands her ground, adjusts the armband, and she'll go again. As this ball sent forward by Courtney. Greta Wood running out to this one and put out a play by Bilius. And so with less than 10 minutes to go now in this first half, Anna, what does Matt Hadjik and the Blues need to do to try and get one back before the half? They have to regroup, need to keep the shape and um, start playing um, uh, football to the feet and, um, just, and look for opportunities to get through and uh, press forward. I'll certainly look to do that as it comes out now to Tegan McWilliam. Pressured by Beck Tom. Referee says free kick and Mindel ball. McWilliam into the box. It comes out oh, almost to Greta Wood. Brocci. Left footed strike and it gets followed the way through to the back of the net. Certainly it seems like one of those occasions where Unfortunately, we don't have them in our round ball game. Unlike basketball, it seems like Matt Hadjik just needs a, a timeout just to regroup his side and just give him, give everyone a bit of a word of wisdom. He's trying his best on that sideline, as is Jason Lee, both coaching well from the technical areas. 
And so far, the first-year coach, Jason Lee, who has the advantage at this stage. The Blues look primed for a substitution. Certainly looks like it's coming. Did see Georgia Hadjik getting warmed up earlier. So play continues momentarily. Kirby back to Jess Brocci. Backwards, she'll go. And that's a good ball forward by Zoe Smith. She finds Cassie McWilliam. And out by Coombe. And out for a corner, perhaps a different substitution. A pure runner of the game looks primed and ready. A new face to Hellenic, who's had a good start to the season. Perhaps she can make a difference. Of course, who we're talking about is Tani Henderson. Off your screens, you can't quite see her, but she's standing by assistant coach Zach Conzionis just receiving her last bit of instructions. We'll see what change is made as the corner comes in for Mendel. Cassie Trump McWilliam tries to get there to come out of the back post. And Kukovis will get some sort of clearance onto it. McCrillos skillfully done. She paces away from Tegan McWilliam. And this is where she needs the runners to come. Jemima Miller card and it's a good ball from Sophia McCrillos. Perfectly weighted. And now Hellenic have a chance on the counter. McCrillos calls for it once again, and she receives it. Laboring to get there is Tegan McWilliam. Sophia McCrillos, oh, nice tackle by Abby Gree. Tegan McWilliam and Mindle look to counter-attack once again. Cassie McWilliam playing this forward. Onside is any wall, but it's too central. He'll come all the way back for Taya Hartog. Kicks it out wide for Kukovic, who's got time to assess the field. Pass is cut off, but it gets to Ellie McCrillos. Referee says all ball as Beck Tom comes forward. Now finds Sophia McCrillos. A good touch as well. Takes it away. Sophia McCrillos on the right foot. And just too much there. If she had one more second, that shot would have gotten away. And we all know what would have happened next is Lisa McCrillos in the meantime. Backwards shoe goes to Evie Paneris. Padakis trying to influence things. She can't quite do so. Rhea Gray, nicely done. Tegan McWilliam. Courtney to Abby Grieg. Annie Wars called for it and she's got possession. Staying with her Wells, Kukovis. The ball forward's poor though. Comes straight to Zoe Courtney. Now Rhea Gray. Just time to dwell on the ball, Mindel. Tegan McWilliam. Back to Zoe Courtney. Greta Wood calling for it. Offside, says the referee. And the substitution will be made. And it's a surprising one. Beck Tom being replaced by Hellenic. And in her place, Tani Henderson. Certainly not the player I would have come to mind to substitute, but there has to be something underlying there. She might be, she might be carry, carrying an injury. Mm. It's not like Beck Tom to no. come off at all. She'll put her body on the line for everything and oh, give, it, give it all. Absolute warrior. So there has to be something underlying. Hope it's not too serious for Beck Tom and she can come back on the weekend. But for the moment, Tani Henderson, she's earned her spot on the pitch and we'll see if she can influence things. She's... Look to be peeled out wide in a wider position. As possession's given away, but Mindel have numbers. Oh, a bit of miscommunication as Evie Paneris has possession. Closed down by Greta Wood. Paneris gets her pass away. Now the substitute. Tani Henderson needs an option to present itself, and she almost has the ball dispossessed. Paneris peeled wide, though, and she can play it inside. Comes away first time. Tegan McWilliam. Now Courtney. Will lashes one forward for Annie War. There with her is Maria Bilius. Annie War. And that's a good defending by Maria Bilius. Puts it out into touch for a Mindel throw. Perhaps you could say Anna as well missing another 
key midfielder with some experience in um, Stephanie Tregillis. Yes, um, she's missing. I was carrying a slight injury. Um, she's actually sorely missed in this squad. Mm. She's that rock of that centre midfield. Yeah, the way her and Beck Tom hold this side down is yes. commendable as Henderson's peeled wide. McCrillos' pass is behind the winger. She'll still get time to get it. She's Look forward. Move. Here is Henderson. Can she take on Rhea Gray? Certainly back her for pace. But she looks inside and it's given away. Cassie McWilliam, her ball looking for Wood. Back out to Tani Henderson. Pass gets wide. Now Lisa McCrillos. Ellie McCrillos. Evie Paneris to Ellie McCrillos. Now Tani Henderson. Only minutes remain in this first half as Hellenic try to get one back. The captain, Ellie McCrillos. Nice fake of the cross there. But her pass is given straight away to Cassie McWilliam. And likewise, McWilliam returns the favour and gives the ball back to Hellenic. So it's been scrappy so far. I know there has been some good passages of play, but when it seems like the simple passes should be made, they're just not. Not happening. Um, the first touch is up there, but both squads um, just making some, some errors in their, um, in their judgment of passing. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that sharpens up in the second half as... Ball comes out into an open area. They're reading it well as Ellie McCrillos. Anastasia Kukovis. Now Sophia McCrillos, nice turn. She's closed down by, count them, one, two, three, four Mindel players. Not much she can do there, Sophia McCrillos, as Tegan McWilliam just has plenty of time just to roll it across to her centre-half partner and Zoe Smith and now Rhea Gray. The other centre half is pushed forward now into a number six role. And now Cassie McWilliam. Dryer Kirby. Gets past McCrillos, but her pass is poor as well. Kukovis, Jemima, Miller Carden. Nice ball this time out to McCrillos. Sorry, to Paneris, and she finds Bilius. Now Tani Henderson. Slow build up is good build up as Bilius just plays it forward. Chasing is Tani Henderson, but gets to the goalkeeper in Bennett. Now Rhea Gray to Cassie McWilliam to Rhea Gray. Runners are on if she can find them. Greta Wood's one of them. Flag will stay down. Greta Wood is onside. Bilius knows that. Comes out to meet the forward. Back to Cassie McWilliam. Nice touch and heavy, but it's good. Cross comes inside and it's a little too direct as we've reached the end of regulation time. The referee in the centre having a look at his watch. It's his decision how long we play of additional time as Taya Hartog sends this forward. McCrillos looking to get it to Henderson but she'll bundle down. But she'll get to a second ball here, Sophia McCrillos. Brocci with some good defending. Sticks in the foot and wins possession. Cassie McWilliam back out to Brocci. Ellie McCrillos is with her. Ball comes back inside. Greta Wood. Further along for Dry Kirby. Unorthodox forward pass. As Hellenic looked to come out of defence here, but it's been momentarily picked off. Coombe gets it wide. Brocci back inside. Kirby gets it to Wood. Back out to Jariah Kirby. Tries to sell Paneris a fake. And Kirby still with possession. Eventually marshalled out and the referee thought about the halftime whistle, but we go back inside with Tani Henderson. Keeps her feet and now it is McCrillos to go forward. To Lisa McCrillos. Almost a ball forward for Sophia McCrillos, but through the goalkeeper and that is all we have to play for this first half. And round five of the Australia Cup sees Mindel go into its break with a 2-0 lead. Opening goal to Cassie McWilliam, followed by an own goal by Mary Coombe. Mindel will have the lead at the moment. We'll quickly throw over to Yana just to get your thoughts on the first half as a whole. It was um, as a whole. I think Mindel dominated this um, this half, and I think um, second half um, Helen needs to dig deep, knowing that the, um, Sophia is being targeted by four players. That mm -hmm. they need to start utilising the other girls, and um, they're going to have to step up. 
and um, own, the, um, own the game. Absolutely. So both teams will have that chance to make the changes. We'll have a quick break here, and on the other side of that, the second half of the Women's Challenge Cup.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. The second half of this Women's Challenge Cup match, not far away from kicking off. It is 2-0 at the break to the home side in Mindelasis. And as mentioned, halfway through that half, the winner of this game will go straight through to the Women's Challenge Cup final. Of course, Darwin Hearts will play the winner of Verdi and Stormbirds, who are currently taking place in the red centre. So I guess it's going to be an interesting start to the second half. And what, what do you think on a Hellenic side of things would have Matt Hadjik told his side at the break? I reckon just uh, key composure, um, you know, patience. Um, and you need to go uh, press forward the first, I mean, like, say 2-0 is still a dangerous score. Mm -hmm. And um, Hellenic in the first 10 minutes will need to prove it, then maybe get a goal back. Yep. But patience, 45 minutes, anything can happen. Certainly can. It's a long time in football. And the referee is ready to get us kicked off and underway. Blows the whistle and off we go for the second half. Mindel going right to left on your screens, get us kicked off. Tegan McWilliam looking for Annie War and back out searching for Brocci. Gets the touch onto it as Paneris goes to ground. Referee says free kick and linesman certainly agrees with that as well. So a fast start is needed by Hellenic. They've been starved of opportunity there. Star forward, Sophia McCridolos really has been double teamed in this game. As the ball goes forward, searching for McCridolos in the centre. This McCridolos gets it nicely forward to Jemima Miller-Carton in some space. Oh, and her pass is out of the way of Henderson as Brocci takes it out to Abby Grieg. Nice touch back inside. Jemima Miller-Carton stolen it here. Chance for a cross for the Blues. Laboured touch. Rhea Gray keeps it alive. Doesn't concede the corner. Well done from the centre half. And oh, gets it past another. But Sophia McCrillis, slight footwork. Dispossessed by Abby Grieg. Now Cassie McWilliam. Already scored in the first half. McWilliam, it's a good header by Kukovic just to get it out of play. And it's a Mindel throw. Abby Grieg, the captain, will come forward to take. Calls in the centre. And she's told just to go back a few paces. Mendel captain. Grieg inside to Jariah Kirby. And off the touch. Well, the boot of Papadakis and out of play. So Mendel throw in once again. Abby Grieg. Back to Zoe Courtney. Her ball forward looking for Tia McWilliam. She gets a touch on. Invites Coom and Paneris. They both combine to clear it. Jemima Miller-Carton out to Anastasia Kukovic who will keep it alive. Good pass down the line to Papadakis. And her ball looking for Sophia McCrillos. Just started too far. But Ellie McCrillos now plays it wide. Papadakis has got the pace to get out to this. She plays it first time inside. But... McCrillis hadn't gotten back to a position and Mindel now out of defence. Nice turn by Courtney. Possession given away though to Paneris. Ball back out to, well, looked for a teammate in Paneris, but now Tegan McWilliam. Brocci. Tegan McWilliams ball forward. Annie War and Greta Wood peels out in this wide area. She's got Coom ahead of herself. Paneris out of position. Her ball forward looking for war and now cuts through Paneris, Tegan McWilliam, Jess Brocci. Looping ball forward, cut out by Coombe. Good touch forward by Courtney. Now Jariah Kirby. Build up play here is good. Zoe Smith. Ball over the top, inviting runners, but Greta Wood behind the ball there. Mary Coombe just puts it out into touch so throw into Mindel and it seems as though the second half has started in much the same vein in which the first half did or held up in congestion here Annie War or goes off the Mindel forward and out of play for a goal kick and certainly the same sort of story Anna, you'd say so far, Sophia McCrillos heavily teamed up. The Blues are trying to get it to her, but 
she's going to tire herself out the way she's going. Yeah, she is. Um, and and the, girls, uh, the other girls have to step up and um, help her out then, just not leave it up to her to do all the heavy um, load. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, uh, the workload needs to be shared around. Absolutely. They need to rise to the occasion, her teammates, as she gets in a good position here. The ball's low, though. Macrillos works hard for it, and she strips it off Rhea Gray. Chance to come up against Smith. Sophia Macrillos just turns back into the channel, though. She'll be frustrated with that, but Mosca Papadakis, a chance, a cross, but it's off guard and goes out, hits the side netting, out for a goal kick, and plenty of vocals still from both coaches looking to keep their teams switched on as Cassie McWilliam has possession. Down the line, it's a good intervention there from Maria Bilius. Greta Wood looked to be in some space. Throw in for Mindel. Abby Gree looking centrally. Zoe Courtney's peel off in possession. She takes it down, ball over the top. Greta Wood will try, get there ahead of Bilius. And referee says fair challenge. And Bilius gets it out. Clearly you're not happy with the contact there. Perhaps just losing out in size, I think, Maria Bilius. Greta yeah. Wood's certainly a strong competitor. It was a 50-50 ball, so... Um... You often feel entitled to the free kick <laughs> as a defender sometimes, but goes out once again. Abby Grieg will take the throw in. Ball seems to have gone out the back, so just a second on there. So plenty of time for Hellenic. We've played just over five minutes, and something needs to change. And hopefully soon, as they are defending at the moment. Ball throw in to Zoe Courtney now. Abby Grieg. Courtney takes possession. Now Greta Wood. Cut out well by Maria Bilius. Now Ellie McCrillos trying her trademark turn there, but it gets caught up in possession. Greta Wood. Abby War. Ball is on through here, but Tani Henderson. Well done from the winger to drop back and defend. Perhaps adding that extra load, sharing of it. She's a natural winger, but at the moment her team's defending and she's dropping back to assist her ladies as the throw comes in. Kirby back to Abby Grieg, and the captain's been well so far this night, but commentators curse perhaps as that ball's gone straight out into touch. Abby Grieg has been one of those players who has come through the Mindel system. I do remember watching her play. She's still a very young player, but now she's built herself up into that captain's role. We've got to admire when a player comes in from a youth yes. and, and earns that response and earns the respect to become the captain. Yes, it is. And, and, and she's showing it uh, why she's got the captaincy role. Jemima miller Carton looking for McCrillos, but again, all the Mindel players around the spearhead Rochi fouled there. Referee certainly agreed that time. And so a free kick to Mindel here. More frustration seeping into the Blues camp and perhaps another substitution in the offing. A couple of players getting primed on the sidelines. Just perhaps keeping warm. We'll let you know if any movements take place. But in the moment... Mindel in defence. Danielle Bennett almost gives possession away. Abby Grieg, the captain, does well there not to give the foul away. And she strongly wins possession back. Back to Rhea Gray. And loops it over the top. And if in doubt, play it out. And... Nice throw back inside by Mosca Papadakis. Lisa McCrillos turns inside. Bennett spills it, but Ooh. makes the capture. Sophia McCrillos getting in the spaces just half a second away from getting something onto that. But Mindel survived for now. Kukovic trying to get it forward. Picked off there by Zoe Courtney. Back to Rhea Gray. To an open area. Ellie McCrillos. Now Lisa McCrillos. Just a heavy touch letting her down, but... She has a second opportunity. 
She gives it away though. Cassie McWilliam to Jariah Kirby. Back to Rhea Gray. Now Abby Grieg. Jariah Kirby. Back to Rhea Gray. Oh, it's a soft pass, but time to recuperate and time to recover. Bennett under pressure. Papadakis needs to press this. She takes off the burners a little bit as Zoe Courtney puts it up into the air, invites Greta Wood to compete for this. It'll fall in front of her. Good running by the forward and a good tackle by Kukovas. Needed to be made as the young Greta Wood has certainly been up to the game so far. So throw in for Mindel. Annie War back in for Greta Wood, back off the back heel and Miller Carton just getting it out. Pressed into defence at the moment, uh, Hellenic. Perhaps a patch of the pitch they're not used to defending so much. Hellenic is now Papadakis. Instinctive pass away is picked off by Rhea Gray. McCrillos hard chasing. Perhaps can spring something. Brought she in two minds. Plays it back to Zoe Smith. Nice recovery from Tani Henderson. And Jemima Miller Carden plays it. Wide and Brocci just lets it go. It's her team's throw and she looks down the line for Tegan McWilliam. Turns away from Tani Henderson. Panera is dropping back and now Tani Henderson. Backwards it goes to Coombe. But Mindel once again looking to come away with it. That time off a errored piece of play between Jirai Kirby and Jess Brocci. Goes out for a throw. Paneris. Moves it forward. Chance for Jemima Miller Carton here. Put a ball over the top, invite McCrillos, but even when the chance is on, it seems to be playing out of her lane, McCrillos, and remains to be seen if she'll get onto one tonight. That's a poor pass from Brocci. Softly given back, but McCrillos can punish. Sophia McCrillos on the right boot. Puts it into an open space. Ellie McCrillos. Disappointing effort in the end, but Lisa McCrillos, heavy touch. She'll run out to this and put Brocci under pressure. And seems like Hellenic are making some decent build-up play, but when it gets into that final third, it's just... And just running into, and into trouble. Mm, the brick wall of Mindel at the moment. Yes. Build-up play has been decent from the Hellenic side. Just that final ball needs to be finessed a little bit more as... Paneris throws inside, the header is poor, outside and into touch. So, Mindel throw, far right side as Brocci comes back inside to Zoe Smith. Now back to the goalkeeper, Daniel Bennett. Now, Abby Grieg, Cassie McWilliam. And I think that's off of Kukovic and out of play. That substitution double change will take place. The Blues certainly not leaving anything to luck here. Double switch. Anastasia Kukovic and Mosca Papadakis coming from the pitch and being replaced by Georgia Hanchik and Mariah Bayramis and a young Bayramis and Georgia Hanchik coming on. Anna, what do you think those two players can bring to the game? I think with Georgia, she's got the experience and um, she knows what to do to um, try to hold it um, with her experiences, all trying to guide these young girls through. Maria's pretty fast, um, she'll quick, she'll, she'll bring a bit of youth into it. Mm -hmm. Inject some energy back into this Blues outfit as Bilius' pass goes out. The two sisters can't quite combine effectively there as Cassie McWilliam looks to get forward. And Georgia Hadjik off of Greta Wood. There's that strength from Hadjik, but Greta Wood looked to come away. Hadjik using her experience to read it well. Now Maria Bayramis back inside, but her ball is given away. Zoe Courtney and Cassie McWilliam. Nice weighted ball 
Flag stays down. Henderson dropping back to defend. Brocci playing it forward to Annie War. Turning back into traffic. And oh, and that didn't look good. Lisa McCrillos looks to be struggling in the centre there. Awkward turn, but play continues. She's just holding that quad of hers and looks to be running back out there. So play continues for Mindel and Brocci has made the overarching run. Needs players to come into the box. Woods behind it as Bilius is able to get it clear. Although Brocci did have front position. Tani Henderson dropped back. Plenty of time for the Aces to recover. Courtney to Zoe Smith and now back out to Smith and offside flag will rise again against Courtney. So you can see Lisa McCrillos just holding on to that right quad. She made an innocuous turn off the ball and perhaps is laboring with something. But in the moment, Jemima Miller-Carton here, Sophia McCrillos, this is the opportunity she needs. One on one, dropping back Rio Gray. McCrillos, great challenge. Great tackle there. Zoe Smith coming to the rescue for Mindel. One touch too many perhaps for the Blues. As now Jariah Kirby. Can they punish Hellenic on the counter-attack? Play it into an open area for Greta Wood. She takes the first touch and Coombs with her. But Greta Wood still needed to make the challenge there. Coombs and does. And for her it'll roll out of play for a throw-in. the last thing they need Hellenic is something to happen to Lisa McCrillos but she looks to be walking it off still looks a little bit ginger out there Anna hopefully she can play through that I think she's, she's got a cork by the sounds of it just rubbing it there you go yeah, yeah just giving a good rub there get that circulation flowing as ball back inside and that one will go out of play a little too of an acute angle can't quite tell if it's a Seems like it's just a throw in. Not quite set up for a corner if it was, so. Referees just coming off picture here just to attend to something, but the throw in continues. Mindel taking their time here. Certainly not in any rush at the moment as the throw goes straight to Bilius. Combination play between Hadjik and Bilius there. T. McWilliam to Cassie McWilliam. Cross comes in straight off the head of Bilius. Stands in the way. Nice pick off there by, by Ramos. She trying her best to get out to it. Now Abby Grieg. Here is Zoe Courtney. Ball out wide looking for a teammate but Tani Henderson picks it off. Zoe Courtney, good turn in traffic. Nice dexterity to get through that. And now Brocci, chances on here. And she's brought to ground. Referee says nothing in it. That was good a good challenge there from yeah. Anderson. We saw one moments ago by Zoe Smith and McCrillos and Tani Henderson says what you can do, I can do better. Needed to be timed to perfection and it was. But a corner. And a chance. So corner kick for Mindel. And it comes, dangerous area, headed up by Brocci and out of play for a goal kick. So less than half an hour to play, 27 minutes in fact and Hellenic need to start making inroads into this lead as pass out of the back's dangerous. Comes out to Hadjik. She does well. Now Bilius. Long ball forward for Jemima miller and Zoe Courtney holds possession. Now Rhea Gray. Abby Gree, the captain, trying to get through a couple. Nice turn there from Maria Bayramis. Strength to hold off a couple aces, but now Hadjik under pressure. Georgia Hadjik takes a touch and plays a long ball. Looking for Sophia McCrillos and she does well. Takes it down and can get away from Maria Gray. 
Here's a chance for Sophia McCrillos. Ball into the box. It's driven, but Danielle Bennett. She'll take those all day long. McCrillos having to do her own carrying of the ball as well as shooting, it seems. And Abby Grieg down the line looking for Greta Wood. Hadjik. Maria Bayramis, and that's a free kick. Good carry and turn there from the youngster, forcing the contact and drawing the foul. Just over 25 minutes to play, and when does it start to become pushing another defender forward kind of time for you? Um, probably in the next 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. With only tw uh, 20 minutes, 25 minutes to go, yep. you, with the last 15 minutes, you need to start pushing up. I have been around this game for long enough to know that Georgia Hadjik in a previous life was a forward. Yes, she was. I know that she may be one of those players, why she was brought on to not just defend now, but if push comes to shove, drop or dr push up forward. Could be one of those moves made by the Hellenic coaching staff as Coombe takes it down well. Need to defend well here, Hellenic. Bit of a push out there from Wall, but... Referee says play on. Coombe nicely done. Finds Ellie McCrillos. Under pressure here by Zoe Courtney. Gets it out to Maria Bayramis, but just, a bit too just much. can't quite keep it inside there. Throw in to Mindel. Abby Grieg down to Greta Wood. And Ered touch there off the forward. It will be a throw in to Hellenic. Of course, it's interestingly looked at no subs have been made yet for Mindel so a full plethora of ladies to come on and influence the game but for coach Jason Lee perhaps no reason to make the subs there been playing well so far no player has looked out of touch as Cassie McWilliam it's a good weight on the ball Annie Wall will do well here Billius did equally as well Hadjik second attempt spills out to Lisa McCrillos and now Maria Billius Tani Henderson trying to influence things. Runs across and puts Brocci off, but Brocci does well in the second attempt. Sticks with Henderson and looks to get away from her woman. Courtney. Ball inside looking for Tegan McWilliam. Now War. Advancing forward. Nice touch from Paneris to hold things up, but Mindel still with possession. Annie War's ball inside. Comes straight to the captain and Ellie McCrillos. Her ball is poor though. Picked off by Cassie McWilliam and Ajariah Kirby. Heavy touch given away. Hadjik just hoofs it into space. Jess Brocci will have time here. Now it's with Zoe Smith. Kirby. Good strength to hold off Miller Carton. A chance perhaps. Mindel advancing forward, a deep ball in here. Cassie McWilliam can take a touch and she can have a shot here. It's a great hit and a lot of power just rising. And a double change here for the Aces. It looks like Sarah Stenhouse and Amber Pawson will be coming onto the pitch. And they're giving their forwards a refresh with Greta Wood and Annie War coming from the pitch. So Greta Wood and Annie War coming from the field and their replacements, Amber Pawson and Sarah Senhouse. A lot of Premier League football in season 2023. Sarah Senhouse, of course, formerly, I want to say, of Port Darwin and making the move to the Aces last year, really elevated as a player and gets her opportunity now to make the most of the final 20 minutes or so as Hadjik coming the other way. Long ball. Forward the other way goes Rhea Gray. Now Stenhouse. Courtney. Cassie McWilliam looks centrally. Stenhouse getting in the way. Oh, bad pole there by Hadjik. She's given possession away. Abby Grieg a chance. She looking for Stenhouse, but the Blues defense had that set up. McWilliam does well to get past Coombe. 
held up by Mary Coombe. Cassie McWilliam, strength to hold off Coombe and gets the cross off. It stays inside. Hellenic Dew defending. Phileas to Bayramis. Now, Pajic looks down the line, but Jariah Kirby is in plenty of space. Plays it back to Rhea Gray. Pops the ball over the top to Jariah Kirby. A lot of time. And now comes all the way back through for Mary Coombe. Hadjik and play continues. Ellie McCrillos. Running out of options, the captain, and eventually surrenders possession. Amber Pawson goes backwards to Courtney. Now Jariah Kirby. Tegan McWilliam. Nice tackle momentarily, and Ellie McCrillos giving away the free kick, the captain. And so rapidly approaching that 70th minute here, and apart from the odd chance or two, very much Mindel still with the ascendancy at the moment. They've got a free kick to get something of danger into the area. Zoe Smith just holds play for a moment. Her captain, Abby Gree, getting forward left off screen as her delivery is good. It's weighted well. McWilliam with a shot. Play continues. That ended up being a really good instinctive stop there from Taya Hartog. Offside flag didn't come, but the goalkeeper stayed focused. Yeah, quick feet. Very quick feet. An orthodox save, but she's certainly good with her feet, Taya Hartog, and she's proved it there. So, corner now for Mindel, and if there is to be a third goal, it may just be all she wrote. Of course, they did score two goals in two minutes in the first half, so I wouldn't discredit Hellenic too quickly. Ball comes inside the front post. It's Allowed to get through. Dangerous area. Still with the aces. And Hellenic eventually get boot to ball. And all the way out for a Mindel throw. Abby Grieg to take. She goes backwards. Zoe Smith. Good weighted ball. Off the boot of Coombe. So stays alive. Good ball by McWilliam. Deflected there off Stenhouse and straight through to Taya Hartog and she looks to go quickly. Tani Henderson. Now for Ellie McCrillosh. She'll need to pace onto this one. Players need to run for her. Her pass is really between both of them. As it comes out wide, Maria Bay Ramos will get to it. Abby Gree gets the foot to it just to see it out. Throw in. She goes into Jemima Millicardin. Pressured well by Jariah Kirby. Abby Grieg. A little pressed off the ball. Referee says off the Mindel captain and out of play for a Blues throw. Touch out by Lisa McCrillis to Maria Bayramis. Good touch forward for Jemima Millicard and she looks back to Bayramis who was offside but play continues as Grieg goes to ground. Courtney down the line and it will be a Mindel throw. Throw in for Mindel as it looks to get to McWilliam and off out by Hadjik. Throw in for the Aces once again. play for an aces throw once again. Down by McWilliam. Hadjik gets the header inside. Ellie McCrillos. Out to Hadjik. Off of Stenhouse. Out to Ellie McCrillos. Keeps it alive. Hadjik heads in. And that goes out of play for a Mindel throw. So throw in for Mindel here and approaching that territory in which Hellenic really need to make the move as it comes forward 
for Mendel, back the other way. And Baramas trying to get away from Grieg. Strong play, and perhaps caught underneath the ball there, Abby Grieg, and she's okay to continue, as play will continue. And Lacart now to Mikrolos. Rhea Gray putting pressure. Grieg as well, the captain. She got back to her feet to make the challenge, and the warrior of a captain is Abby Grieg back out there and ready to go is Bayramis. Touch goes back to Hadjik, and oh, just wide for Jemima Miller Carton, and just elected to leave the ball there. A collection of groans from the supporters in the stands. But of course, it's easier to say you can do it from up here than being down there. I know you'd know that from your playing days. Yeah. Spectators often think they're the experts. That's it. Um, until you're actually on the park, uh, you don't know what the girls are going through. Um, she might have been caught wrong-footed um, and not been able to make that run. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well said there. And chances. Oh, Hellenic trying to get forward. They will be able to via this throw. Magic just getting her position. Goes inside, flicked on head up. Alisa McCrillos. Grieg versus Bayramis in an aerial duel. And it goes out of play for an aces throw. Hadjik heads back the other way. Rhea Gray. Outstretched feet of Cassie McWilliam. Can't even get to that. McCrillos running through here. Flag stays down. Sophia McCrillos a chance, puts a ball inside and Jess Brocci does what she's been doing for the better part of 75 minutes here and gets the ball out into touch. Corner kick for Hellenic and could this be an opportunity just to send some players forward? Just one ball, one woman on halfway in Mary Coombe, short ones on, Sophia McCrillos. Puts the cross inside, deeply for Henderson, almost shaped up. Paneris with a strike, and it's a little wide. Maybe Paneris trying her best to wing back to get off a strike at goal. The space was on, so she had the attempt. She does well to get it to Henderson now in this attack. Will it hold for Rhea Gray? McCr Lost got there first and cleverly wins the free kick. Just gets there ahead of the defender and forces the contact. So can they set up? Can the Blues find a set piece routine, a free woman, anything really, just to get Sophia McCrillos free and off the shackles of Rhea Gray? She's done great in marking her so far. Halima Krulos delivers one forward. She's got good weight on it. Headed out. Hadjik perhaps sizes it up. Out to Krulos. Flag stays down. And Mindel get it clear. Pawson looks to come away from Paneris. Gets the ball forward as well to Zoe Courtney. Back to Jess Brocci. Now here it is with Zoe Smith. Zoe Courtney holding off Lisa McCrillos. Back to Smith. Brocci away from Henderson. And it goes out of play for a Blues throw. Back inside quickly. Hellenic wasting no time. They sense the urgency as Ellie McCrillos now goes backwards to Bilius. Now McCrillos, the captain's found herself free. Now Hadjik, perhaps the game's starting to open up now for the Blues as Hadjik assesses her options. Back to her captain. Needs the run to occur, but now slid done from Ellie McCrillos. The captain really rising up in that passage of play and has a chance for Coombe. Paneris to Lisa McCrillos. All the way back to her goalkeeper. Perhaps Taya Hartog can act like a quarterback here and take a touch and look to Restart the attack. She goes centrally for Lisa McCrillos. Kirby closing her down. Now Maria Bilius. Hadjix called for it wide and she'll receive it. Ellie McCrillos turns away from danger. Kirby is with her. 
Needs to get a pass off here. Short one to Hadjik. Away from Stenhouse. And now Georgia Hadjik. Skillfully done by Hadjik. Sends her opponent the other way. Still going, Georgia Hadjik. A chance, perhaps. And now Maria Baramis. Still going, Maria Baramis. A chance to get across inside. Tegan McWilliam gets the header to it. Rhea Gray falls out to Miller Carton. Good challenge there. Outstretched. Enough onto it, Tegan McWilliam, and it goes out for a throw to Hellenic. And a sub for the Aces. It'll be Cassie McWilliam coming from the pitch. Goal scorer, of course, in the first half. Has she done enough to ensure the match is won? I think it's Cassie. Yes, it is Cassie McWilliam coming from the field of play, and her replacement is going to be an exciting player. Certainly to say the least, Katie O'Brien. So Jason Lee and the Middle Aces think that with 10 minutes to go, Cassie McWilliams done her job for the night and Katie O'Brien comes in. So throw in deep in Hellenic's attacking half. Opportunity as it goes inside, headed up, looking for a teammate. Baramas trying her best, nicely stolen from Lisa McCrillos, but her ball is slightly rushed as it gets forward. Now Danielle Bennett goes the other way. Paneris trying to get there first. Into an open space, the two number sevens go to battle and Bilius wins that one ahead of Tegan McWilliam. Now Coombe, out to Georgia Hadjik. Ellie McCrillos, backwards it goes to Mary Coombe. Ellie McCrillos. Coombe. Searching for an option, but Stenhouse sends it up into the air. Katie O'Brien gets down to it. Looks to keep it alive. She does. But the ball had travelled out of play as a substitution looks to be made. So Evie Paneris coming from the pitch and one in her place is going to be Christina Conzionis. So Evie Paneris off and Christina Conzionis on. And what kind of substitution is this one and up? Paneris Sorry. off, Conzionis on. Uh, Conscientious is a midfielder, so she plays this, either the sixth role. Mm -hmm. Did you see what happens there? I think they're playing three, three in the back line. So a midfielder on for a defender. Substitute trying to make her presence known. Comes away. Throw in to Hellenic. Coombe inside. Looking for Ellie McCrillos. Ooh, and She's trying to run something off. Awkward fall from McCrillos, but she's back to her feet. Captain trying to get away from Stenhouse, and she puts it out into touch. Throw in for Mindel. Looks like Ellie McCrillos has gone in the back line. Yep. You made that call if there was a defender to come off it. Ellie McCrillos, the captain, would drop back. Henderson being told to push forward. The ball does get out there. They may be on the blues, but for the moment, Mindel have the throw. Acrylos heads back inside. Dry Kirby. Stenhouse. Looks to send a ball inside. Villiers gets there first, and she makes a good clearance. Jemima miller Carton trying to get out to it, but Zoe Courtney gets there first, and she's been good all night, Zoe Courtney. Katie O'Brien, the substitute, competing with Hadjik. Pushed out of it. Referee says play on. Chance here for Pawson. Billius gets it clear. Not as far as Tegan McWilliam. Brocci calling for it. Looks to go back. And a long ball there by Zoe Smith is way off course, but on course enough for Taya Hartog to make an easy claim. 
Back the other way, finds Maria Bilius. Acrylos to Coombe. Carden to Haji. Searching forward for Maria Bayramas, but Abby Grieg is there. And now Stenhouse to Abby Grieg. Away from Carden. Bayramas is there. Referee says play on as Stenhouse trying to get it to Katie O'Brien, but a heavy touch will concede possession. So throw in to Hellenic. And they've already made a bit more of an attacking move in bringing a fullback off for a midfielder. They still seem to have a back four at this stage as Hadjik clears it into the stands with just over five minutes to go and maybe a little bit of added time. Urgency needs to be seen by the Blues. Will a tactical change be made? With just over five to go, certainly getting to that stage as Abby Grieg throws inside and off the head of Stenhouse and out of play for a Hellenic throw. Georgia Hadjik inside for Carden, getting a touch off Courtney. Strong challenge there, and referee says just a little bit too much on that. Free kick to Mindle. Be Jariah Kirby to take. Calls for that far ball of Tegan McWilliam, but it sits up. The air has not been or well, the wind, I should say, has not been kind to the Aces in the second half as Courtney's trying to get this out wide. Brocci needs to get there first ahead of Henderson. She does well. Amber Pawson, nice ball out wide to Tegan McWilliam. Cross is contacted off Billius and out of play for a corner. And not long left now, Anna. As a, if, if you were in the shoes of Matt Hadjik, what would you be doing now? I'll, I'll be pressing up take a defender out and um, put an extra person up the forward line, you need to press. Certainly. They'll have to do something to salvage, at least a draw. Yep, yep, of course. If Hellenic can manage two goals in these late stages, it will send things to extra time. And it's not just a league game here and you settle for a point, it's survival as the ball comes inside. Back post ball, Konzionis gets it clear and does well just to concede the throw and not a corner again. O'Brien running across to this one. The Aces think they're not done yet. A team typically in this position would be trying to eat into the clock, but Mindel, to their credit, still playing the game. As Grieg comes inside to Rhea Gray. Abby Grieg, or oh, pass is bad. Gives it out to Maria Bayramas, but she goes to ground. But nicely done there from Rhea Gray to keep it moving. Brocci to Tegan McWilliam. Thinks about taking on her opposing seven. Maria Bilius trying to impose herself on Tegan McWilliam. Goes to ground and a shin pad came out. And a referee's whistle gets blown as well. So a free kick now for Mindel. Referee in the centre certainly thought so. And the Mindel Aces coach now, Jason Lee, just calling for calm. He knows his team's in a good position and if they're smart with the clock, they can see this game through. As Tegan McWilliam comes in with a delivery, got a good weight on it. Hartog comes out and makes a great claim. Confident goalkeeping from Hartog. Kicks this one wide. Sophia McCrillos has dropped deep to receive. Comes away from the challenge of Abby Grieg and Look at that dribbling ability from McCrillos. Almost wins back her ball there. Kirby just puts this out into an open space. And so it will be a throw in to Hellenic. And they really need to go for the Hail Mary kind of plays now. They need to get it forward and quickly. Konzionis back to Hajik. And then the referee says that ball had gone out of play. Onzionis' ball back to Hadjik, just not staying in board. And so a throw in to Mindel with just a minute and a half of regulation time to go. Stenhouse's throw. 
looks for O'Brien and that'll go all the way through for a goal kick and so Beramis and Macrillos almost on halfway Macrillos just dropping a little bit deeper just in case the ball comes into that congestion Coombe sends this one forward Stenhouse and now Pawson Kirby deflected off Macrillos and now Rhea Gray is there holds off Sophia Macrillos well Rhea Gray and now Zoe Smith looking for Brocci Tani Henderson's there holds it up for Hellenic needs a teammate and finds one in Maria Bilius and now Mary Coombe certainly not done pressing the aces they're not letting Hellenic have anything easy and Brocci stolen possession central ball is poor though and gets to Coombe but equally so the aces win it back Kirby we're gonna get it to McWilliam bit of pinball in there and referee pulls out something there and says it's a free kick to Hellenic bit of nudging there as we've reached the end of regulation time how long of additional time we have left to play is at the referee's discretion so it does look like Mindel will be going through to the cup final of this FNT Women's Challenge Cup as Hellenic still not giving up. They're going the other way. Lisa McCrillos, Christina Conzionis looking to get it to Baramis and she has a second chance. Oh, and Baramis perhaps just looked away from that ball. And some frustration certainly building in the stands. It goes out for a goal kick and of course both sides are in action this weekend. Atlantic against the Darwin Hearts on the Saturday at 6pm and Mindel against Olympic on the Sunday the 21st of April. And if you're wondering when these two teams play each other again, it's just in over a week's time. Sunday the 28th of April, they'll be doing battle once more and that'll be a mouth-watering encounter if tonight's been anything to go off. So Miller Carton Goes to ground, referee says play on. Abby Grieg. Katie O'Brien in space. Coombe needs to make a challenge here. She does well, but Katie O'Brien's come out with a second ball. Away from Coombe. Through the legs of Coombe, and Katie O'Brien still persisting. Courtney leaves the ball behind. Jemima Miller Carton, and her ball is given away to Brocci been played off their feet they've done well both teams just Mindle had converted and Kirby with a long shot as it goes out behind for a goal kick so as I mentioned it seems Mindle will be going to the final of the Challenge Cup and they will play the winners of eventually well, Darwin Hearts uh, on the other bracket they will play the winner of either Vikings and the winner of tonight's match between Vordy, Verdi and Stormbird. So Mindel straight through to the final as Sophia Macrillos, can she net a consolation goal? Troubled all night, pressured all night, and it comes off again. Bayramis a chance, she goes to ground. Rochi emerging with possession for Mindel. Konzionis and Senhouse gets first to it. Throw in to Hellenic. They see the urgency. Konzionis wanted to go quickly. She wasn't ready, McCrillos. Throw comes in. Ramos needs to get around to this. Greig clears it. Referee has a look at the watch as Amber Pawson plays it back to Zoe Courtney. At to Pawson. Good ball forward for Tegan McWilliam. Looking for Katie O'Brien. Takes the touch away from Coombe. Player on the far side's calling for it, streaming for it. Look to be Zoe Smith. Holds it up away from Bilius, and she's got a good kick on her. Can she get something onto this? Bilius keeping pressure on Zoe Smith. She takes it to the corner through the legs of Bilius. Katie O'Brien backwards to Pawson. Cross comes in, and Coombe with possession. Now Hellenic looks to go the other way. Ali McCrillos with possession. Plenty of time and space. She sends this forward looking for... Maria Bayramis looking to get it further on for Sophia McCrillos. Chance for McCrillos. Through on goal, Sophia McCrillos. 
Puts it into the back of the net. Good goal from Sophia McCrillos. She does net a consolation for the Blues. Is it a consolation? We've played a fair bit of added time in after 90 minutes. It's a good goal from Sophia McCrillos on a day. She's done what perhaps she should have been doing a lot more. She got good service and now she finally delivered. Yes, she did. Um, if they've been playing like that uh, from the word get go, they should have been scoring um, more balls in the back of the nets. And the referee blows full time. Mendel Aces have emerged victorious. They'll be going through to the Women's Challenge Cup final. And that game looking to be played in just over a month's time at the end of May. Hellenic commiserations are late. Sophia McCrillos' goal perhaps showed us what could have been from the get-go. Two goals for the Aces, Cassie McWilliam, and then an own goal, what looks to be credited to Mary Coombe. Sophia McCrillos scoring for the Blues. They will go straight through to the Challenge Cup final. That is Mindel Aces. Darwin Hearts play the winner of Vikings. And then the match tonight, Verdi or Stormbirds to determine who will meet the Hearts, um, Aces in the final. Until then, my name has been George Scufezis and I've been thankfully joined in commentary tonight by Anna Day. We bid you farewell. Anna, any final words for you in this game? Oh, it was a great game. Um, at the end, at the end, second half was much better than what the first half. Congratulations to Mindel. They they got the um, the early goals and um, credit to them, and they stuck to it. Certainly did. Good call there. Have a safe rest of your Wednesday, and we'll see you for Men's Premier League kicking off on Friday.